I got one question on my mind, and that is, can music change the world? Of course it can, it does every day. Music sure as hell changed me. Speaking truth to power is basically the life and times of Tom Morello. From my career as a shredding guitarist, a political activist, and a uniquely American tale. I was the only black kid in an all-white town. I was the only anarchist at a conservative high school. The only heavy metal shredding guitar player at Harvard University. And the only Ivy League Star Trek loving nerd in the world's biggest political rock rap band. <laughs> It was music that made me feel I could have my hands on the steering wheel of history. DNA of my family is very, very important. My mom is a, a lifelong civil rights and uh, free speech activist, and my dad was part of the Kenyan uh, anti-colonial movement. I couldn't play the way I play or say what I say were it not for that particular combination of DNA and experience. Kids touched my curly hair, marveled over the color of my gums and palms, openly questioned whether I was intellectually their equal, Dads drew a hard line on dating. Cops occasionally cuffed me for walking down the sidewalk. We've already discussed my rocky relationship with the local KKK. So you see, I was black. This is certainly the most in-depth repository of Tom Morello stories. I really took this seriously, you know, in, in crafting this show and handpicking these stories from my life. But there was a disconnect between what I believed in and the plays I was in the games I played, and the music that I loved. Perhaps I needed to take matters literally into my own hands. So I bought an electric guitar for $50. <laughs> the derisive laughter in the room is directed to a picture on the screen, which is me the night of my first ever concert. I am wearing a garbage bag for a shirt that is secured with red electrical tape. I have my $50 guitar. I have these snug trousers that have some hearts sewn on them and exactly 100 safety pins on the side of the pant leg. I'm wearing moccasins and there's a picture of Stonehenge in the background. <laughs> you know, as an artist, you have one responsibility, and that's to tell the truth. It has both, you know, the triumph and the tragedy woven into it and a lot of shredding guitar solos. Yeah.